so that is where all the melons are going to go. We can have like stairs and stuff around here to access a little bit easier. We can decorate the front event, which should be good too. Um, because we need to have that comparator signal off of the chest. And oh, that's right. So the comparator signal has to be off the back of the chest, or at least it has to be off one of the sides. It doesn't have to be off the back, it just has to be off one part. So we've got to have going to have something here. So comparator window will block. So this part we can actually have underground here. I'm turning this all around from the way that we did it before because now that I don't I know that I don't need it to power the the dropper as well. It's just going to be uh, this loop to lock the chest and it's going to it's going to lock the hopper that we put uh, here. So we're going to have a hopper going this way and that is going to go into that's going to go into the dropper. So this might actually be like work out really, really well. One, two, three, four, five, six. That might, that might be okay. We'll have to see. If not, we can always put the water stream a little bit farther back. But uh, so when this is full, it will unlock, it will unlock that. And yeah, I think, I think that's it. I think we just have to make sure that all of these Hoppers go into this front one like that. This need more hoppers. And I need to sleep too. Brought the bed out here so I'm not always running back and forth. We really need to sort out that spider farm. It is unfortunately not not as efficient as it used to be, and uh, there's some definite there's some faults I think. So the reason why these hoppers will pick things up is because there's going to be farmland above them, and the pistons are going to be pushing the melons down into them. So wow, there is a where is there's an enderman here somewhere. Where did he go? I heard that crazy um so all of this stuff will go into this one hopper goes into the chest and i guess i should probably go look at this over here because i think it was i think it was one of those things where we had to we had to raise the dropper so the dropper is, yeah, the dropper is up on the second level. So probably gonna have to do the same thing here. Oh no, because the one over the one over at the farm was like hopper, hopper, dropper. So we can do that. And I think I, read, I left my redstone thing up here. Yep. So we need a dropper. And so that will spit things out into this water stream. And this is only one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I don't think I don't think this is going to work. But we'll see. We might have to we might have to move the water stream. Uh, I need I need this down. Hopper, dropper, dropper, hopper, <laughs> ROFL <-L> helicopter. <laughs> yeah. I get them mixed up. I say I say one sometimes when I mean the other. That does happen. Oh, perfect. Yep, so that doesn't mess anything up. So like if I, where's my dirt? I'm just ch chuck a piece of dirt in here. If I do that. That works out fine. And if I do this, that works out fine too. It's a little bit slower here, but that's fine. That, that'll be good. 
So I guess we can probably just put the redstone on the terracotta just because it'll make the most sense. That we're not going to see any of this, but it'd be nice that it's not um, not easily broken if people are down here digging around. So I need a torch and a comparator. Some redstone dust. And I think I need a repeater as well. So the comparator is going to go off the side into that block. I need to power the block next to this with I'm going to need more than one torch, I just realized. Torch. Now, in my creative world, I made the mistake of building this back this way, and it was locking hoppers, and so I can't do that here. So that will put a signal into the side of the comparator, and then we need the repeater locking that hopper. Repeater goes that way. And then we need dust there. And then we just need a torch on the back of that uh, that block there. And what we should see is that this chest will lock when stuff is in it. So if I put 56 dirt, then that should stay in there, which is good. That means that that hopper is locked. Or sorry, this, uh, yeah, this hopper is locked. And then this, when it has something in it, we need it to spit it out. And so the easiest way to do that is just put an auto circuit right here. I'm still catching up on a lot of the Etho videos. I watched, uh, I was watching, I think I'm on episode 207 or something. Something like that. So for this, it's pretty straightforward. And I wonder if I have, I could just use, if I have green wool or something. I like, I have fun with, with making redstone circuits. Sometimes I like to theme them with the builds. Uh, I could probably just use more green terracotta because I'm going to need more of that anyway. So lime terracotta is what I need. So I need some more regular and we'll just make a bunch. I feel like better to have a lot of lime terracotta than not. So let's just make a whole a whole stack. Uh, I think it's cactus and bone meal. Yes, that worked. Perfect. Alistair, is at the gold farm? How easy is this one uh, for me to break? Uh, you could potentially break it. Um, just hit the pigmen with a snowball and you should be good though. It's a good AFK. The thing, the thing about the zombie pigment farm, which is nice, is that it's completely AFK. Like, you don't actually have to actively kill the mobs. So, the way that this is going to work is that we're going to have a little 3 by 2 Whoops, there's the wrong block. Oh my goodness, can't play Minecraft today. My, I don't have the right drivers for my mouse. So I'm having some issues in that. And I forgot to bring all my redstone down that I need. Let's get rid of that. Need a comparator, repeater. I've already got redstone dust. And I think that's it. There's no torches involved. So dropper auto circuit, activate. Comparator into a block with redstone dust on top with redstone behind that and you cut that off put this there repeater and dust and then ah 
helps if you point the comparator in the correct direction. And then this needs to have a block above it. And I think that's as far as it needs to go. So if I put eight dirt in here, eight dirt come out, beautiful, works like a charm. Uh, so now what I need to do is I need to make sure that these stay in here. So we're going to have to encase this in glass and that's going to be tricky because of that. But we can use that trapdoor trick that Paranor came up. Jared, hello, sir. How are you? So all this is good. I just need to, I guess, fill this in. How far was it chucking those things? Yeah, so we want to make sure that it's not it's not going to go on this part. So we're going to put a glass block. Uh, let's get some gray glass. Again, this is the this is the artist in me making redstone that no one is ever going to see look good because I'm weird like that. So we'll put gray glass there. And we could probably just do, could probably just do trap doors all the way around. That would probably be the easiest thing. I don't think we're going to have a problem with, with something there. We just put a block there. So I like glass because you can see through it. Uh, trap doors you can't. So if you ever have to check to see if that dropper is working, it's nice to be able to see see what's going on and let's just stay with the spruce trap doors doing quite well thanks how about yourself i'm great it's my day off doing some streaming i i didn't design this farm this is this is not my design it's it's a cup fan slash iskull 85 thing that i've seen in videos lately and it just looked really really cool it looked like a lot of fun so i thought i would give it a go and we're going to switch this so that it faces the other way and how do I get it so that it flips up? I think I had to put it on the redstone before. Yes, okay, so get rid of that. So that will keep everything inside this little spot. And then we can just do this for looks. And now when I put in my eight dirt, well, that's annoying. We should probably <laughs> we should probably not not have the trapdoor flipping <laughs> up and down like crazy. That was funny. I did not expect that. Cool. Nothing got hung up. I'm all for that. Uh, looks a little bit weird, but that's okay. No one's gonna see it anyway. I'm wondering actually maybe we could. We could maybe get away with, with doing this. You can still see. Still see. Okay. Uh, so that takes care of that. I think that's all the, the redstone at the bottom done. So much faster this time around. <laughs> Flappy trap. <laughs> and what is this farm exactly? This is going to be a pumpkin and melon farm. And I will show you the basics. It's heavy on the observers. I need to dump a bunch of inventory here. It's it's heavy on the observers and it's heavy on uh, pistons, but uh, it's pretty cool. So I have this screen. Actually, you know what? Here, let's see if I can do this live on camera. I did this on Vastin the other day and it worked out okay. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to grab my screenshot and show you. So this is the pumpkin farm. Sorry, the melon farm. This is essentially what we're building. And so I've got this over on my other monitor so I can kind of see what's going on. The old smasher farm. Yeah, uh, I think it'd be more fun to do it this way. Uh, so I think really that's all this bottom stuff done. I can probably put this grass back in. I'm gonna have to figure out where else we can put lights because I removed the ability to put like buried 
torches here because of the waterway. Um, but we can grab this and go down underneath here now. Remove all this stuff because it is going to be absolutely in the way. I'm probably going to build a couple little bridges here just so that's easy to get over. Uh, and then I guess probably just take this out too. Makes it easy to find our way over this side. Yes, this is all going to bug me. That's fine. Uh, let's just get, ooh, there could be water over there. That looks like a fish. So let's not break those just yet. Oh, I thought I was going to have water coming in there. Uh, let's do this. Ah, there was water there. I do not want water messing with my redstone. Uh, and so this might be a good spot to, when we're doing the river, we'll have to come in here and maybe seal that off. But I like being able to walk around, walk around the redstone. Uh, this is going to also bug me. So we're going to fix those. <laughs> and I think that's it. I'm just going to remove these. Yeah. So that is the overflow for the melons. Now we just have to build the actual farm. And Billy Bass is sitting there waiting for him to request for me to sing. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. I think it's easier if you build up the middle. I think that's going to be the best way to go. So I can put the hopper back. Already my inventory is full. I, I think I need to start bringing a shulker box around with me that is purely for garbage. Like something I can just empty, just empty my stuff into and not have to worry about it. Uh, let's do that. Don't need all this dirt. I don't think I need the pumpkins. I thought I had glowstone around here somewhere. Uh, where would I have kept the glowstone? I think it must be inside. Because the glowstone, I think, is how we're going to light it. But I don't. I can't think of any other way to light the farm up. I could put some pickles in the water source. Some sea pickles. That could be fun. Uh, grab some of those. We might just do that anyway. So I'll do four of those. So the tricky part about this is I, you have to go up the middle with, I think there's one piston and then four sticky pistons and then four slime blocks. And there's at least eight observers, if not nine or 10. And if I remember this correctly, then we can put a temporary block say where this we'll use this terra this terracotta so that's going to be a potato and then there has to be an observer uh is there an observer there darn it i can't remember i can't remember the inside i know that no i think there's nothing above this because I'm pretty sure it goes nothing and then piston. And then there's another air block. But the hard part here is that on top of this, there's an air block there. And then we have to put an observer up here. And the observer has to look down at this piston like that. Uh, wait a minute. No, that's not right. I guess you could do it this way. Yeah. So the observer looks down at that piston. The piston... I think there maybe is an observer underneath the piston. No, because the piston is bud powered by the slime blocks. Right. 
I, I not, I'm not entirely sure how this farm works. Don't fully understand it. Uh, but then, so there's a piston on top of the slime block. This powers a block. And then these observers all have to face up. So this is where it gets tricky. And that what I have to do is create a temporary cross pattern on this block. So I do this, this, when I was building this in creative, I thought about like the best way to actually go about building it in survival. And I think that this is the best way. So you do that, you drop down one more, and then you can put your observers here, there, there, there. And then you have to pillar back up to get rid of the blocks that they're going into because this, 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 this. That's the right height because my glass case goes over the top. And then these guys need dust, not this, but that needs dust and that needs dust. Jared, thank you very much. I'm glad you like the beat texture. Um, I think I like linked it in Discord, but uh, I've been sharing those kind of things individually and then people can put them in their packs if they want. Okay, so I know that slime blocks go on the piston sides like that. And so that to me means that the sticky pistons go here, there, there, and there. And so we've got sticky stuff there. And I think the tricky part is that the observers down on this level, yeah, so the observers have to be facing downward, which is fine. I just have to put temporary blocks. I've got to take this out, take these out, and put blocks there as if those were melons. And then we just have to be up a little bit higher like this to be able to put the observer. I think I really gonna want to do it this way, but I don't know if it's gonna let me. Hmm. I guess I should have put the observers in before I put the sticky pistons and the slime blocks. So that I guess is the issue is that I did this step first when I should have done it last. So same idea, we just go around and we do server there, server there, server there, and server there. And then it's sticky, 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 and sticky. And slime, 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 slime. Now, when I break these blocks, we might see some, it might break the setup. So we might have to like sort of reset it. That worked, that worked, that worked, and that worked. Awesome. So to give you an idea about how this is gonna function, I need to grab a hoe. which I have here. And do I, am I still carrying around melon seeds? I guess I'm not, I guess I have to just grab, oh, I got a pumpkin, that'll, that'll work. So uh, all of these sections are going to, well, I just fell down the hole, uh, are gonna be um, pumpkins. We need a potato. We'll grab a potato. So this is, this is going to affect the growth rates. So that will be the one that keeps um, the melons from being next to one another. So all of these melons are far enough away from one another that they're not gonna be affected. And so what happens is when a melon grows in not that spot, but when a melon grows in this spot, then it gets pushed out and it should end up in the chest. Yep, same thing here. And same thing on this side. 
and the whole thing. It's it's a cooler system when um, when you've got a lot of these. Like if you had six or eight of these modules, then it wouldn't matter where, wouldn't matter what happens um, when a pumpkin or a melon grows. Then only one section of these goes. So if you had six or eight of these in a row, when a pumpkin over here or a melon over here grows, the whole thing doesn't go off. It would be only that section, uh, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, it's it's fancy and it's ingenious because what's happening is, let's see if I can explain this because I barely understand it. So the observer sees the pumpkin or the melon and it sends the signal into this sticky piston and or the slime block. The slime block doesn't actually power this piston. It powers that piston that I have in the middle, the one that's hidden in here. And it fires up the observer that's in the middle, sees that, powers that block. That block powers the redstone. And then these observers see that, and then they push these sticky pistons down, which pushes the observers down. It's very compact and very, very cool. And I really, really I love the design. And then what we're gonna do here on the back is we're gonna put in the water source. And we have to do more. I didn't take a picture of this, but I'm pretty sure I just did, I just did like trap doors like that. Oops, that's on the wrong side. We'll just do this, that, and then we can just take that out. And so now if we put an ice block in here, then we can get a water source. And I think, I can't remember if I covered that up anywhere on my design. I might, I might have to revisit that, but it's essentially what we've done. And then we just do I don't think I have enough glass. No, I have to make some more, more green glass. But we'll cover this up. And so the only other trick is that I wanted this to kind of glow at night like some of the other farms. Like the, the pumpkin farm over here, it's much bigger. And it's bigger on purpose because it allows me to have these lights underneath the glass. So the, the glass is lit up from below. Uh, this is lit on its own because of the glowstone that's in there. Uh, and then that's got glow, uh, redstone lamps in it. And I don't, yeah, there's pumpkins behind the sugar cane, like jack-o'-lanterns, so that glows at night too. So I'm trying to think about how to get this to glow at night. And I think one of the easiest ways is gonna to be to put some sea pickles right inside of the water source here. So that's gonna have some light to it. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be enough to light up the whole thing. So we might have to come up with some kind of inventive ways to put lights around the outside. And I also have a couple of structural things that I want to do. So now that we know that's working, we can uh, put the, I guess the uh, farmland in, and we can also, I should probably just leave that on me for now. Where's my bone meal? Turf box? No, green bin, probably in here. Yes, so we can do this. And so that actually is nice because it matches all the green stuff that's going to be happening. It's going to match the, the melons. And then I think I put melon seeds or melons in, do I have any in here? Don't, sorry, I'll just grab some melons out of this. Yeah, modular, modular building is great, Paranoia, I agree. Let's just grab two of these and we'll just turn these into melons. Oh, can I not turn a melon into seeds? I have to I have to use a, a slice. Interesting. I didn't know that. I thought you had to once you've crafted it into a melon, that's it. You're stuck with the melon. Good to know. Now these I can turn into seeds. Yes. Oh. I'm gonna need four of them. Can't do that anymore unless you use fortune on them. Ah, I see. Oh, you know what it was? I had a, I had a silk touch pickaxe. That's probably what my issue was. Um, so we can grab this again. Put this back. This is actually going quite quickly. We should. I'm not sure what we're going to do after this. I have. I haven't thought that far ahead. We'll have lots of lots of opportunity to do cool stuff.
So that, and then at some point, this is probably going to go off while we're working on it, and that's fine. Just like that. Why can I not bone meal the plant? That's weird. Oh, I see. I was bone mealing the wrong thing. The hitbox is, is like there. It's weird. Yeah, so that is the look. The pump, the melon stems are a little bit of a weird green, but that's okay. Uh, but it looks like we've got a couple of pumpkins already. Yep. So it's going to send slices off to uh, to the greenhouse, not not full pumpkins, but that's fine. Uh, but that's pretty much the whole thing. I just have to fill it in with some green glass now.